Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to my kitchen again and watching my videos. I'm so excited. Today, I'm gonna um, show you how to make a uh, nice um, creamy rice pudding. And this goes back to my childhood when I was in Cyprus and my mom used to make this rice pudding with fresh eggs and milk and you know, all creamy and uh, sweet. So it's very easy to make. Uh, it just takes a little time to cook the rice. Of course, it takes 20 minutes. So I have two cups of water here that's been boiling and I'm gonna add my rice. I'm going to stir it a little bit and I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, I'm going to come back and I'm gonna show you how to make it creamy and sweet and um, you can add raisins if you want. I don't because I don't care for the raisins when they're cooked like that, but you can if you want. So we'll be back in 20 minutes and we're gonna make this rice pudding so sweet and so delicious and so creamy. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. So there I am, uh, I let my rice simmer for 20 minutes and uh, it's nice and soft. So now I'm gonna add, I have I turned my heat back into high because I'm gonna add my milk. I have four cups of milk. You can use any kind of milk you want. You can use, I use 2%, but in that I'm gonna put my four cups of milk in my pot. That's going to simmer with the rest of the rice and the water is all absorbed, no more water in here. And also in here, just to make it creamier, I will use one can of 12 ounce evaporated milk. That goes in there. I'm going to use, that goes in there. I'm going to use uh, one cup of sugar, but I'm going to save two tablespoons for my eggs. I have four egg yolks in here, and I'm going to beat those later. That's going to go in there, so I want to save two tablespoons of sugar in my egg yolks. And the rest of the sugar goes in here. There you go. That goes in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. Maybe about a tablespoon or, I mean teaspoon, one teaspoon of vanilla. And that's looking pretty good. As soon as this um, come to uh, simmer and boil, we're gonna add our eggs. In here I have four egg yolks, which I'm gonna beat with the sugar and to in turns like light, light color. It needs to be light color, these egg yolks. Into my egg yolks, I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of cornstarch. That's what's gonna make her thick and creamy. Three. Four. There you go. And that goes in there. That's going to be mixed. Whoops. Gotta make a mess here. There you go. My cornstarch and my egg mixture goes in here. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Um, is warm milk from my pot right here, my little saucepan. I'm gonna take a little bit of milk. That's what you call tempering the eggs. You don't wanna put these eggs right into the hot milk because they're gonna curl and you're gonna have scrambled eggs. So we take a little bit of this milk, a little bit at a time. It goes right into the eggs to make them warm. Then we're gonna add everything back in the back in the saucepan. There we go. I 
always like to touch the outside of my ball right here to make sure it's warm enough before I put my egg. And it's a couple more ladles of warm milk. There you go. feels nice and warm so I'm just gonna take this now and I'm going to add it to this little saucepan with the rice and the milk warm milk so that's gonna go in here and I'm gonna stir stir because I don't want it all to be curled so you need to stir really really well this to thicken and it's starting to thicken already and look at this it's beautiful nice and creamy nice and thick nice and sweet so you know when this is ready when it starts bubbles the bubbles when it's simmering and it's bubbling that's when you know it's ready because you want to cook the cornstarch. If you don't let it bubble and simmer, it's not going to be cooked and you're going to taste the cornstarch. So there it is. It's bubbling up really, really good and it looks delicious. So let me taste. Taste, taste. All right, now it's really bubbling. Ooh. There you go. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to taste. Mm -mm -mm. That's hard. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Perfect. Nice and sweet, creamy. The rice is not mushy. You want it to hold the rice. You don't want to cook it too much. Oh my God, this is so good. And you know the best way to eat this? Nice and warm with lots and lots of cinnamon on top. So there we are. We have rice pudding here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in a nice dish. pretty glass dish here uh, here <laughs> I have this pretty dish I want to put it in but it's glass and it's really hot and I don't know how it's gonna be so I got this one out this is a pretty one so I'm just gonna pour all this rice pudding right in here rice pudding garnish it with a little bit of ground cinnamon that's all you need so nice and warm I like it nice and warm I like to eat it like this nice and warm and pop it in a refrigerator you can serve it cold it's so refreshing so nice Hope you make this it's really easy it doesn't take long it took me 20 minutes to cook the rice and the rest eight minutes to make this whole video so it doesn't take long as long as you have the ingredients i'm you i'm sure you have all these ingredients in your home in your in your kitchen right now so make this rice pudding it's delicious this brings me back home with my mom cooking in the kitchen thank you for watching and i will see you next time Leave you with lots of love and enjoy the rice pudding. Thank you. Bye-bye.